and welcome back to my channel. This is Cowgirls Don't Cry. Tim starts a rodeo school and deals with a challenging student right out of the gate. Learning his mom is back in rehab, Ty blames his stepfather. As we saw last time, Ty did find out that Lily was drinking and so he wasn't sure about inviting her to the wedding but ultimately did send an invite which finding out that his mom is in rehab is a good thing because it means she wants to get sober in time for the wedding so that's actually probably gonna be a bit of a good thing but obviously he's gonna blame Wade for her getting drunk again which is it fair could be. Maybe Wade is completely innocent this time. I don't know how to read Wade because sometimes it seems like he does have good intentions and other times he doesn't, you know. Like he says he loves Lily, but obviously if he really did, he wouldn't, you know, hit her or anything. Um, but, you know, the expression, can people change? It's like, some can, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about Wade. I really don't know. Uh, and then also, Lou decided to go to Vancouver to be with Peter to see if they can work things out, which hopefully they can. Um, because he had commented about maybe there's nothing to keep them together except the kids. And I'm thinking, Love. Love should be enough. Trust, communication. You know, uh, when she went to see him in Vancouver, that was echoing something that I had said earlier in that episode. Like, why couldn't she end up doing that? I mean, if he's gone, say, two weeks a month, why doesn't she take one week a month and go spend the time with him? You know, there's plenty of people at Heartland who can watch Georgie and Katie. There's Jack, there's Amy, there's Lisa, you know, there's Tim, there's Ty. There's plenty of people who can watch them. Stop it. So, you know, that's something that she could have been doing pretty much since he started his trips to Vancouver is if he's gone for two weeks a month then she goes and spends a week with him first week or second week she goes and spends a week with him and then she comes back and then he has you know a week on his own guys stop it hey 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 stop it hey So, you know, again, that is something that she could have been doing to help with their marriage. But Lou wanted to basically just bitch about him being gone all the time when there were solutions. So there's a part of me that thinks it's too little too late now. But then at the same time, I'm also thinking it's never too late. So fingers crossed that they will get it worked out is quite heavy. I can't don't know if you can tell, but she's a little bit of a chonk. Anyways, let's get started. I was going to say the troubling student right out of the gate. I said, I bet that's going to be Jade. Because for some reason we have to have Jade in here. Why? Because all the guys in my school are like serious cowboys. They're only into horsey girls. Like this guy in my homeroom, Matt Smith. Ha! Matt Smith? Okay, well, you could take Ryan. That had to have been a Doctor Who reference. It's probably about the time he was the Doctor. Probably one who dressed everything. Actually, I haven't thought one bit about that. I'm not here to watch. I'm here to learn how to write wrong. This is Romeo School. I mean, I can kind of see Tim's point, you know. 
biologically speaking, there are things that men are better at than women. You know, before anyone comes at me, you know it's true, even if you don't agree. You know it's true. Women are built differently. Some of us are better at certain things than men, and vice versa. Um, so I can kind of see Tim's hesitation with that, but at the same time, if women do want to do, like, the bronking school or whatever, then more power to them, you know? Let them do it, if they feel that they can handle it. So he's got those two students, so we're going to see them... And, of course, Lisa, you know, she's not meddling, and I'm, I'm just like... And Amy knows what she's doing, because you saw when she mentioned about, you know, wedding recipes. You saw Amy was kind of like, okay. And, of course, Jack, he knows what she's doing. And if, you know, they should just say something. They should just say, Lisa, stop. Well, I'm not. And say, yes, you are. You're insinuating, you're doing things, stop. Completely, you know. I and mean, obviously they're going to get her to help by the end. But I'm just kind of like, you know, if that were me, I would probably be like, I would probably put the kibosh on it. And be like, no, you're done. I didn't stay there all night. Did you finish the job? I came to see you last night. The guy at the front desk said you go every night. You don't come back until morning. So? So? And when I was a kid, you would stay out all night. Then you'd come home looking like something a cat dragged in. Sort of the way you look now. Mom would always ask where you were. She already knew the answer. <coughs> I'm impressed with Jay because, you know, she said that she liked the guy. And so, if she liked the guy, you'd think she would be all up for doing some making out. But it seemed like she just wanted to kind of hang out, get to know him a bit, and then... But, of course, he was all about going and getting it on. So, kudos to her for sticking to her guns. Yeah. And as I said, you know Lisa's going to take over with the wedding. And I'm sure it's still going to be beautiful, but it's just like, like stop meddling. Just stop. <laughs> It'll be okay. Just stop. feeling that she was going to get up and be like, that was awesome, or something like that. So, she definitely should not have done it. But, yeah, I kind of had a feeling that she was going to be like, that was awesome. And, and that she was going to enjoy it. And it seems like, in this sense... Wade was trying to do what he could to get Lily to stop, but it didn't work. Because, you know, he mentioned about she lost her job and couldn't find another. And I'm like, you know what? I know that feeling. I've been there. It's one reason why I started my channel, because I was like, I just, I was tired of uh, the jobs that were out there and thought I'd start my own. So, you know, when he said that she couldn't find another job, I was thinking... You know, obviously she became depressed, and then that's when she turned to drinking. But I was like, it's too bad that she couldn't have, like, found something else. Found another avenue, like, started her own business. Something that she could have done that would make her happy. 
But the good thing is she's in rehab. So she's in rehab. They She didn't know about the wedding, but obviously, um, you know, Amy gave Wade the save the date. So they're aware now, or at least Wade is aware. Lily may not be yet. So she just checked into the rehab, I guess, for herself. But I have a feeling we're going to see her at the wedding. Sorry, I'm going to laugh every time they say his name. You didn't have to ride that walk to prove that. Yes, I did. Now every time Matt corners the road his truck, he's going to think of me flying out of that chute and kicking his butt. <laughs> I'm out. I got her stuff. She'll be back. And Lisa just kept pushing me about the wedding, so I kind of told her to butt out. Well, that doesn't sound like you. I know, but she wouldn't take no for an answer. Mm -hmm. So why did you say no? Because I already have the blue breathing down my neck. <laughs> uh, maybe not ideal, and maybe it would be hard to get the, the name of the place from Wade, but I'm sure that they could find out where it is. And yeah, then they could have done that. They could have just taken the money, driven to the rehab place, and even if they couldn't see Lily, just say, we want to pay for this. At least he accepted it. Obviously, it's some of the money from the winnings that he had shown Amy. Um, so that's nice. And I like that Wade did finally go ahead and accept it. And Ty is right. He says, you can't work these two jobs forever. You're going to get burned out. And I'm thinking, yeah, when does he sleep? Because he mops all night and then he goes and works there at Paladin Transport. It's like, dude, you have to sleep at some point. <clears throat> so, but it it is nice to see. It's nice to see Wade being responsible, doing these two jobs. It seems like Ty really kind of came around with that when he saw that. I mean, obviously Ty is going to be okay because he's going to be a vet, so he's going to make good money as a vet anyways. Um, and so... But yeah, I like that he said Amy and I talked about it. And I like how he said Amy and I talked about it because, you know, as someone who's going to be getting married, his wife needs to be involved. And he had said to her basically at the be beginning that, like, he didn't want her involved. And I'm thinking, she's going to have to be involved if she's going to be your wife. You're going to have to include her in this stuff. You have a visitor. Steven. Oh. Hey, Jordy. Steven, hi. Jack. Go. Ah! In the kitchen? Leave me. <laughs> oh, don't get too close, Zach. All right, I should be boxed on that one. Okay. Got kind of surprised in all her um, foster homes that she never caught. Yes. I don't think I'll be going. How come? I feel like I'll be a lot. Now, how's the little girl? I always used to imagine what my wedding would be like. I even told my mom that I was going to ride Sugarfoot down the mountain. <laughs> Here's my favorite pony back then. Sugarfoot. food. I guess I just thought that she when it came time for my real wedding, my mom would be here in the mountain. You're right. When she's going to be big help. How long will I yeah, love you? I knew by the end Lisa would be helping out. I like how Amy chose yellow and blue, her mother's favorite colors, as a way, of course, to have Marion as part of it. You know, she says that she thought her mom would be there, and I'm thinking, she is there. She's just not in physical form. But she'll be there. She's looking over you. Who knows? Maybe Marion is kind of pushing Lisa towards you to help. Could be. And it's a bummer for Georgie that she doesn't get to go to the dance, but it's nice that Scott was like, oh, we can do it, or not Scott, Stephen, um, that he's like, we can just hang out. And 
I like that Tim, he did, I think, respect what Jade did, even though she broke the rules and had to drop out of class. So I like that he says he's going to offer her a spot in the next one so that she can still have a chance, if she is serious about it. I definitely think we're going to see Wade again. And like I said, <coughs> I don't know how to take him. But at least in this episode, he seemed to be decent. You know, he seemed to be someone who was trying to have a good life. You know, and when Ty said, she's my mother, he said, she's my wife. And I'm like, yeah. I don't know, in a situation like that, it's like, who do you listen to, the wife or the son? But... Sometimes I think Wade loves Lily, other times I'm not sure, so sure, because as I said, you know, if he loved her, he wouldn't hit her. And we know he's abused her in the past. That's what the first few seasons were about. And she really should not have gone back to him. But he does seem to have turned over the leaf. And you can do that. It doesn't excuse the sins of the past, and that should be forgiven. But I think you can change. I don't know. When someone is an abuser, they're probably always an abuser. But I think if it is something truly important, you could change. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think it depends just on how serious you are. So thank you for joining me for this episode of Heartland. Please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell to be alerted of future reacts if you are watching this on YouTube. I will see you in my next video. Bye.